In this tutorial in Tidler Pro, we're going to look at how to add more than one transition or animation to the same title. I have a clip on the screen of a gal on the phone, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to drop in a title. So I'm going to give myself some room. I'll drag down in my track to track number two and click on my T for title room. I can also press the F7 key on my Windows keyboard and it gives me all my titles. Let me look at uh, a simple way to get to Titler Pro, which is clicking the down arrow, dragging down and picking new blue, and then Titler Pro is my only option. You may have version 1.0 or 1.5, depending on your version of PowerDirector. I'll take this and I'll drop it down and we'll leave it here in track number two. And so what I'd like to do with, with this selected, I can either double click it on click or click modify, and that will pop up my Tyler Pro window. So what I can do with Tyler Pro, fortunately, is I can drag it and make it larger. So we'll try to fill our recording screen here mostly with the Tyler Pro. Let me show you some things that we can do for double transition or double animation. I'm going to right click on this and click on edit text. And then we'll say this is a sample to use. So I have a large title here. What I'd like to do now is with that selected, I'd like to go ahead and add an effect. The easiest way I found to do that is to click on the library tab in the upper left corner and then click on transitions. I'm going to choose something from the animation here and let's do the infinity to start with. That looks good. Now I have infinity on the screen and it comes in and does what I expect it to do. Here's something you can do that's kind of cool. I can click it again. I can click on my library, Infinity, Centered, click a second time, and I just added another transition. Now the default is that they come in and they stick to the left side of your paragraph. With two on top of each other, it doesn't change the way it looks, but I can take either one of these, hold the left mouse button, drag, and drag it to the right. So if I go back to the beginning of this particular clip and press my play key, it comes in in infinity and it goes out the same way. So now I've added an in and an out. I can also drag either of these to change the duration of either the in or the out. So it's a nice way to make this uniform. The other thing you can do, I'm going to remove it. To remove it, you right click on it and off the recording screen there's an option that says delete transition from the drop down box. Let's try another one. Let's not use infinity. Let's try a uh, drop split. We'll, we'll pick a pull apart, double click it, and now I have two of these. Now sometimes the transitions play well together, sometimes they don't. Let's see if either of these works or if one dominates the other. Okay, they both tried to operate at the same time, if you notice. So I had the infinity come in and then they flew apart. In this case, I probably wouldn't recommend it because it's very hard to see the text. But I could take drop split and drag it to the end. Go ahead to the beginning and press my preview play key. It comes in with an infinity and it goes out with a backwards drop split. The other thing you can do here, and I'll pause this, with drop split highlighted, I can go ahead and click on reverse, or I can make other adjustments in it once I have it here. So let's see what this looks like when we go out this time. It comes together and then it pulls apart. So that's an interesting way in which to end that particular option. That's a little more confusing to me. I probably wouldn't use that one, but I'll, I'll remove it again. Right click and delete transition. Let's try another one for fun. Let's try a, a fly past. We'll do a spin. 
we'll see how these play together. Click back here. Okay. So these two seem to work okay because we have the infinity coming in, but it's also spinning. Not bad. Let's try to take the infinity and put it on the other end. And we'll go to the beginning, play again. Okay, so that's your fly past. And then going out, we'll use the infinity transition. You can actually add more than two. But if you do, let's try a third one here just for fun. Again, you can't put one in the middle. So you're forced to put it with another one. And if they don't play well together, you'll have a mess. <laughs> so let's try it and see what we get here. Okay. Um, all right. I don't think I'm seeing, I'm not seeing the pop up here. It's not really working. So I'd right click on this one and I would simply delete that. So probably to be safe, the best you can do is generally target using two different transitions in the same paragraph. But the good news is you can. And so you're not simply stuck with one at the beginning or one at the end. You can use both. And if I take this one, I can put both on the end and have no transition at the beginning. But again, they have to be willing to work together. Mm -hmm.